What's up guys, H. DeMarzo here. Have you ever had one of your devices stolen um, directly right out of a, your bag or out of your office or out of your car and not been able to track it and you've lost lots of data, um, you've lost financially because you don't have the device anymore. Uh, I have a piece of software that you're going to love uh, that'll definitely, definitely help you get your software back. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I'll give you a tour, show you how to download it right now. Alright guys, so here's the deal. Um, <clears throat> we got this new piece of software called Prey. Um, the, the website is preyproject.org. I'll put a, a link down in the, uh, in the show notes. Oh, that's not the right one. Alright, hold on. You can go, you can get there this way also. Go to Google and search for Prey. Um, it's not going to be the, it's dot com. It's not going to be the game because there's also a video game called Prey. So you want to mouse over to PreyProject.com and you're going to come up with this website. Um, there's a video in here that you can watch um, or you can just go ahead and download it. Um, it should automatically recognize what software you're using. So you go ahead and you click the download. It's a pretty small download, but depending on your connection, it may take a while, it may not take a while. Now, I've already installed it, so... Well, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll show it to you, just in case. Um, on a Mac, you're going to come up with this install screen. On Windows, you're going to come up with your with the normal software install window. You're going to come up with the installer icon. I want to go ahead and open it. Now this one this window that comes up is part of the installer. You have a choice, um, standalone or Prey Plus control panel. Um, I went for the first one because it, it's recommended, obviously. Um, no, it, uh, it gives you the interface to use as opposed to setting up manually how it's going to report. Um, and how you're going to configure and if one of your devices is stolen. Um, for most users, you're going to go ahead and pick the first option. Click Next if you first time using it, you're going to click New User. Uh, if you already have a profile, um, then why are you watching this video? Just kidding. Um, most people are going to click New User. You're going to enter this information and it's going to go ahead and create a profile for you. Now, once you've created your profile, you can go, go ahead and log into your um, control panel on the Prey website. And it'll give you this window. If you're a new user, you won't have any, any devices on here. So you go ahead and you <coughs> select new devar add device, and you give your device a name. You're gonna give it uh, I don't know Fuzzy Bunny, and you're gonna decide what kind of um, device it is. Is it a desktop? Is it uh, like an iPad or a, ga or a Galaxy Tab, or is it a laptop? Um, you're then gonna go ahead and, and select which operating system you're using. If you're unsure of what operating system you're using, you're going to go to your system preferences uh, in Windows and you're going to go to the system um, and it'll tell you which, uh, which operating system you're using. <coughs> if you're on a Mac, you don't know you're using the Mac, um, you go ahead and you click the Apple up in the top corner and it'll say about this Mac and well, obviously then you're using Mac. And then you're going to use which version of the operating system you're using. Snow Leopard, Lion, 
whatever. If you're using Windows, you go ahead and pick which one you're using there. For Linux, you Linux users, uh, most people use Ubuntu because it's just easier. Um, it's more well known within the Linux community as being easy to use. You, again, you're going to go ahead and, and you're going to select which one um, you're using. Go ahead and create it. Then it's going to go ahead and ask you to verify the device. You go through, select how you want the, um, if your laptop is stolen, what you want to happen. Uh, geographic lo uh, locating, if somebody's on your laptop that they've just stolen from you. Um, it'll give you a GPS location with turn-by-turn -turn directions about how to get there, how to get your laptop back. This is other information you can set up about the network that they're currently on. Um, a little bit more technical uh, information if you want to use that. Um, this one's going to, this session option is going to give you about what they're doing. Uh, I'll give you a screenshot of what they're uh, what they're working on, any web pages they go to, if they decide to modify any of your any of the files. Um, this is pretty much just a um, an interval <coughs> and the um, the directory that that it's going to go to. Um, any programs that they run, you can get that information as well. The webcam. It'll take a picture of who's using the computer, so you can get that. That's very, very cool. Um, on the article I read, he was actually able to get, every 10 minutes he had it set up to report, every 10 minutes he would get a, a an email with the GPS location, turn by turn directions, what programs they were running, and pictures of who's using it. These are other actions that you can have it perform. Um, as soon as you report it stolen, you can have an alarm go off, which is very, very loud. Um, you can have an alert come up to the um, come up on the on the desktop on the screen. Um, obviously, the, the default one there is going to say is going to assume that they're honest and that you've lost it, um, not that it's been stolen. You can put your own in here. Um, something like this something like that is going to uh, make, it, make it a little more um, I don't know, threatening is really the wrong word, but a little more serious. You could have it read that image or read that text to them. Um, these options will lock the uh, lock the laptop. You could set your own password. Don't worry, this is not my password. Um, so that when you get it back, you can unlock it with that password and you can hit secure. Um, <clears throat> so that if it uh, if it is stolen, you can have it just delete all of your all of your data. Um, web browsing, so it's mainly web browsing. It's personal information. Um, so if all of that is turned on, it's going to uh, be very very loud, very annoying, very secure, and it's pretty much going to break the device if they're looking for your information. Um, this is not actually my device, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that device. Um, network is a little bit slow right now. I'll go ahead and I'll delete that later. You can also, for your current devices, here it is. Um, activation mode, that's a, a paid subscription device 
Um, I think the default is uh, every 10 minutes, I believe. These are the, the settings that I have. Maybe change these. The alarm is very, very annoying and very irritating. Um, so I kind of, I kind of leave that. Um, it's it's like a car alarm. So that's how you go ahead and um, and secure your laptop um, in case it gets stolen. Uh, you'll be able to get it back. Uh, turn by turn directions like I said people um, I tested this out with another computer uh, from across the house and I put it in the basement and then I went on another computer in the house logged in reported it missing and I could hear the the alarm that the computer was emitting from two floors I was up in the second level in the left I was down in the basement I could hear it from two floors and every two every 10 minutes or so uh, I got all that information that I was saying GPS location um, a screen you know screenshot any programs running any system information that was being um, being used uh, as far as the stats a just everything um, so it, it definitely works it's very cool um, they are currently working on a version for iPhone so I'll keep you updated with that was when that comes out so until next time, keep it real.